Hey everyone, my name is Forever Chia on YouTube. I go by Chia and I wanted to show y'all a collection of my eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is the end of 2019, the end of a decade, and I just want to show y'all some of my favorite palettes as well as some of my not so favorite palettes, just all the palettes I have in general and why I chose to purchase them. Give y'all a little backstory on the reasons why I do have these um, eyeshadow palettes in my collection and hopefully encourage y'all to get some of the palettes that I currently own. So stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you. So I'm going to pick up um, the eyeshadow palettes one by one and show y'all the palette and why exactly I have it in my collection. Hopefully my shadow doesn't like really disturb y'all too much, but basically this is my eyeshadow palette collection. It's grown a lot over this past year, mainly because I watch videos that do um, show eyeshadow palette collections. Based on other people's collections, I have been able to um, basically make my collection a lot larger. Um, if there is any background noise, I apologize, but um, stay tuned to keep on watching. So um, I'm not really gonna show this in any particular order, but I do want to start out with the eyeshadow palettes that I first picked up, which would have to be my Morphe palettes. So these two bad boys right here were my first ever eyeshadow palettes. Can you see them? Can you see them? This right here is the Morphe 35U. When I initially got into eyeshadows, I did want some color in my life. I believe this eyeshadow palette right here is currently discontinued, but it's just a um, colorful eyeshadow palette with all shimmers. And I did not know that when I initially picked this up. Um, two of my eyeshadow palettes, I mean, th two of my eyeshadows in this palette are currently broken, but overall I have used this eyeshadow palette a bit, mainly when it comes to like the greens and the blues in this eyeshadow palette, and that's, as well as this yellow right here. But it's a nice eyeshadow palette. I don't really play with it too much because I'm not really into colors like this as much. But for it to be one of my starting out eyeshadow palettes, I still do love it till this day. My next eyeshadow palette. I mean, oh, Lumana is broken now. Like, I've had this for so long. Wow. Anyway, this is the Morphe 350 palette. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this eyeshadow palette before. It's nice, you're all your neutral browns. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I got it. I wanted a neutral eyeshadow palette and I personally don't really like all mattes or all shimmers. Although my 35 Youth palette is all shimmers. I like to use one eyeshadow palette at a time and this right here was my staple eyeshadow palette for the longest. Um, at some point I only had the 35 U and the 350 and those are the only eyeshadow palettes I had and I love them oh so much. But yeah, I don't really dabble into this as much anymore. I still do dabble into it, mainly for the shimmers. But there are just too many of these similar brown shades for me. Now that I have other palettes that have more of a variation, I don't really dabble into this as much. But the quality on these eyeshadow palettes still perform amazingly. I love the um, Morphe formula. I know a lot of people have mixed reviews on them, but I personally love them. So the next eyeshadow palettes I will be talking about were actually gifted to me by a company called Texture by T. This um, eyeshadow palette, I believe these um, two eyeshadow palettes are made by the same company as Morphe because the quality is exactly the same. And I should have picked out two um, palettes. This one is their 35P palette. And I'm pretty sure the P in this one stands for plum. Look at it. Like what? Like this right here is a bomb eyeshadow palette. So on one side you have your warmer tones, your pinks, I mean, yeah. Okay, on one side of it you have your warmer tones, your browns, your oranges, your fall shades. And on the other side you have your pinks and your purples. And that's why I love this palette. They had like four different palettes to choose from. I chose two, this is one of the two that I chose. And I just love the different purples and pinks in here. But I also love the option that I do have all my neutral warm tones because I am indeed a warm toned girl. Also, I love the fact that this eyeshadow palette has a white, a little nice nudish shade here, as well as a black as well. So I'm really appreciative of this palette and all its glory. The shadows also perform very, very, very well. I love this eyeshadow palette. I do not plan on getting rid of it anytime soon. Love the palette, love the formula. 
But sadly, this um, brand is no longer with us. So yeah, I can't really get your hand on this one, but I personally love it and I'm happy to have it in my collection. So the second palette I got from Texture by T is this one. This is the 35F palette. And the F in this one, I'm pretty sure stands for fall, if I'm not believe, fall if I am not mistaken. So this is the Texture by T fall palette. I believe that's what it's called. Look at it. I mean, even if it's the F doesn't stand for fall, this palette just screams fall to me. You have all your reds, your oranges, your yellows, your browns. This is a bomb palette and it's a mix of shimmers and um, mattes. So the whole first four top rows of this um, eyeshadow palette are all shimmers. And the last row at the bottom is all mattes. So yeah, I love this um, shadow palette. And what I love the most about this palette is this black. This black is one of my best blacks in my collection. So yeah, this palette right here is another winner. I'm also going to keep this one in my collection for a good minute because I love it. So now that we're done with some of my first initial palettes, let's get into some other ones. I mean, we might as well just finish off with Morphe, right? So this right here is one of my more recent purchases. This is the Morphe, the Morphe 9G Oh My Gorge Artistry Palette. It's a nine pan eyeshadow palette. It's really cute and I mainly got this one mainly for the sides because I wanted to travel with it, but also because the shades in here are really unique and screen fall. So I love this um, purpley shade right here. I mainly got it for this hot glam shade because it reminds me a lot of the um, Fenty Trophy Wife shade. So I really do love this shade. Um, I love the quality. I love the fact that it has a mirror up top. And yeah, all the shades in here, like I really do love. This red one right here is really pretty too. I love the names. Sachet, On Cam, Hot Glam, Pose, Headshot, Primp, Filter, Catwalk, and Strut. Like this just screams glam. Like the name of it, Oh My Gorge, I feel like fits this palette oh so well. The shades in here, like I said, are amazing. The quality and the formula is amazing as well. And I'm just so happy to have this eyeshadow palette in my collection. This is my only nine um, pan palette from Morphe, so yeah. So the next two palettes I have from Morphe are the, let me see if I remember these without looking. Yep, it's this way. So this is the 25A palette and this is the 25B palette. Um, I don't remember the full names of them. I know when it's like, yeah, I really don't remember. Something Spice and yeah, I don't remember anymore. But these are the old packaging. This is, as you can see, I got two broken shades in this one. But I do like these shadows a lot. This is the 25A palette. Um, but nowadays, like I said, um, most of my palettes, I don't go for the ones that have like too many similar shades. And as you can see, this one has a lot of similar shades. I personally do like variation in my palettes, but the shimmers in here are bomb. Like all of these ones are broken, I still use them. They're really great shadows. So yeah, that's the 25A palette. I really do still like this one. It is a nice size and it is pretty good for travel. So that's that. And then we also have the 25B, which is more on the cooler tone side in my opinion. We have more of our um, like we have more purpley browns in this one, just cooler tones, but it's still a beautiful palette and the quality of both of these palettes are impeccable. I love Morphe shadows like I did say previously and these shadows still perform well and these, this is the old packaging. I've had this for well over 12 months that they recommend you to have and I'm still glad to have them in my collection. What's next? What's next? Okay, so this was one of my first ever eyeshadow palettes. I don't even remember the name of it. It's from Sephora. This is the Sephora Not That Shy palette. And when I got first got this eyeshadow palette, I used to like use it step by step as noted on the back. There's a natural side and there's an intense side. So I really like actually <laughs> went by that. It's a cool tone palette. And I've had this palette for like well over six, seven years now and I still can, you know, use it even though I don't tend to dabble in into it because I'm not really a cool tone type of girl. It's still a great eyeshadow palette and I like how compact and small it is. I can easily throw this into my bag and I'll be good to go. 
So yeah, the shades in here are really bomb. I really don't want to do too many swatches because I don't want my fingers to be all dirty. But let's see, can you see it right here? I don't know if you can really see it, but that's like a grayish color, but it's so pretty. So that's my, this is my go-to cool tone palette from Sephora collection and it's honestly bomb. Better than even some of my other eyeshadow palettes. So this is one of my newer palettes. This is the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. I got this palette based on, uh, what is her name? Andrea Renee. She has this palette in her collection. And I was, at first I was like, I don't need that eyeshadow palette. But then like the more I look at it, I'm just like, this is really beautiful. And the main colors that drew me in to actually buy this palette are the green. Um, this smooth brownish color. This chill purple. And it was one more color. I think it's this clever color. Those shades right there. Just look at the palette. It's so pretty. And it's called Opposites of Trap because one side, this side right here is your warmer side. And this side right here is your cooler side. And together, this palette is just magical. So I mainly bought this um, eyeshadow palette for the cooler tone shadows because I don't have too many of those in my collection. And these ones perform bomb. Like, this is a great eyeshadow palette. And I got this from e.l.f. Um, they had a 50% off sale on orders $30 and up. So I bought this eyeshadow palette for $7 when it usually retails for $14. So I'm very happy about this eyeshadow palette. I really like it a lot. It kind of reminds me of the Born to Run palette, which is going to be coming up soon. But overall, I love this package. I love the palette. Like It's just really good and also great for travel. So let's see, what should I go for next? I think we should go into my revolutions. I have two. I have two make a revolution palette. So this one right here is the Velvet Rose um, make a revolution palette. And I really like this one a lot because it reminds me and it is it is indeed a dupe for the Soft Land palette by ABH. So I personally don't like taking my ABH palettes when I'm traveling and stuff. So I feel much more comfortable taking this um, make a revolution palette. The formula of these shadows is amazing. I, as you can tell, I love this gold shade right here. Um, I always use this shade. I use the black one a lot. I use this one a lot. And I use this color a lot too. But yeah, this is this is serious. Like I said, I'm not going to do swatches, but let's see. I don't know if you can see. I'm terrible at swatches. I'm sorry, y'all. But this right here. It's a bomb eyeshadow palette. Um, I think, well, yeah, this is only 15 shadows. Well, this is 15 shadows. So you have um, all the shadows that you get in the ABH palette plus one more. So this is definitely a bang for your buck. You can buy this palette for like five, six dollars at Ulta. And then also with Ulta points, you can get this for like four dollars. It's a steal, honestly. This is the Velvet Rose palette by Makeup Revolution. Don't sleep on their don't sleep on their palettes. Don't sleep on their formula. This lasts all day on my eye, and I will recommend it to any and everybody. So be sure to pick this eyeshadow palette up. Now my go-to one out of these two would have to be their Neutrals Two palette. I know they have a Neutrals Three palette, which I was also thinking about picking up, but I was like, I got too many eyeshadow palettes right now. Let's stick to what I have. This right here is the Neutrals Two, and like I said, I'm a warm tone lover. So this is right up my alley. It's so warm, so, so rich. Um, I love this shade right here at the bottom. I love this pink in the middle. I love this warm tone brown right here. Like these are, this is just me and the palette. And what I like about the, um, what I do like about the Neutrals 2 palette is that I can also use these shades as um, blushes. So I do tend to use some of these shades as a blush and I also use this one right here as a highlight as well. So this right here is like my all-in-one palette. If I'm traveling and I can only take one palette with me, most of the time I, I tend to take this palette because I can I have multiple uses for it. So moving right along, the next palette we're going to talk about is going to let's do let's do Juvia's Place. This is my first 
This is my first Juvia's Place palette. This is the Masquerade Mini. I love this palette so much. Here it is in all its glory. I love the fact that we have all our fun shades up top in two rows and then we have all our neutral shades at the bottom in the bottom two rows. So the main reason why I bought this palette are for the names of the eyeshadows. My name is Chiamaka. So this eyeshadow, ha this eyeshadow palette has a shade called Chi right here, which is like one of my nicknames. And then also there's this name, the shade called Ada. And in Igbo, Ada means the oldest and I'm the oldest of all my siblings. So I was just like, this eyeshadow palette right here was made for me. So I had to copy it in the colorway and everything is just beautiful. I could not pass this eyeshadow palette up. Juvia's Place has an amazing eyeshadow formula. It's probably one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I mean, my eyeshadow formulas because they're not too dry, but they're not powdery either. Like they're just perfect. Um, I haven't had a Juvia's I haven't had a Juvia's Place palette fail me yet. So, personally, if you're trying to like find a, an affordable but great eyeshadow formula. You can never go wrong with Juvia's Place in my personal opinion. So check them out. This is my first Juvia's Place palette and I still love it to this day. My next Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette is the Nubian 2. I love, love, love this eyeshadow palette. And can we just, can we just give like, take a minute to like, appreciate the artwork? Like, look at this. Juvia's Place never disappoints with their artwork. I love how minimal the packaging is, but how beautiful it is at the same time. So this right here is the Nubian 2 palette. And when you open her up, okay, be mindful y'all, this one is kind of dirty because I really do like her. She looks, she looks a little, a little used, a little abused, but like this right here is me in a palette. I mean, come on, look at this green. This green is beautiful, okay? I'm amazing, like, amazing shimmery blue, green. Did I say blue? Green. I love this shade. This blue right here, bomb. Love it. Um, I really like all these eyeshadows. The only color I don't really care for is probably this one called Leia. Like, it's kind of like a shimmery purplish type shade. Don't really mind it, but the rest of these shades are bomb. Even this Nairobi color. It's again kind of like that um, color I was looking for when I was getting my Morphe Nine Shadow Palette. It reminds me a lot of the Trophy Wife shade by um, by Morphe. So this right here is a 12 eyeshadow pan palette, and the pan size is huge. And look at the art on this top. The pan size is huge. The formula is amazing. As you can see, this is well, well, well loved. I like to use my palette. Okay. So this one is used and abused and affordable. Check out Juvia's Place because they do not disappoint whatsoever. So I have only one more Juvia's Place palette. I try not to go too crazy when I do like something, but these three right here are just bomb. This one is probably going to be the most used and abused. Yeah. So she's a little, a little beat up, a little broken as you can tell. I do like this shade a lot and this shade too. This I just need to clean off this palette because it looks a mess. So after all of this, I'm going to clean her off. Sorry, it looks all beat up, but I mean, I use my palettes. So I do love a lot, um, the shimmery shades in this palette. But if I want a neutral look, I know I can always depend on this palette here. Once again, 12 shadows. These these this is like a mini palette, so it's easier for travel. It's, you know, pretty small size. You can throw it in a bag. Um, on my trip to New York, I did travel with this palette. I love it. Like, I use it for highlight. I use it for eyeshadow. It's beautiful. And then I can also really, if I want to, use one of these shades for contour. It might be a little bit too harsh, but if I mix these with a little bit of this, I can honestly get a contour out of this now that I look at it. But this is a bomb eyeshadow palette. Once again, the formula is amazing. And that's why I have three of the many Juvia's Place palettes. And if you subscribe to them, well, I can subscribe to them. If you follow them on Instagram, they always have sales and deals. They always have deals in Ulta. They always have deals on their actual website. So be on the lookout for that because Juvia's Place, like I said, is on the come up. Shop with them while they are still affordable. You never know if they're going to increase in price. 
Okay, so basically, now that I know it's damp, I kind of basically did all my um, lower end palettes, like my drugstore um, lower end palettes first, and then my higher end ones. But anyway, this is my only Profusion eyeshadow palette right now. But Profusion, let me tell you, Profusion, Profusion's formula, again, is amazing. I am missing two eyeshadows in this palette but the colorway on this 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 is what I'm looking for when I want a colorful palette we have all our colors but we also have like some wearable shades as well we have all our you know muted um go-to shades right here on our left side these are all mattes but then mixed in we have colors we have yellows we have oranges pinks purples blues and greens and goldish browns bronzy brown colors this palette is amazing. The formula is amazing. And I, I, Profusion, I feel like it slept on because you can easily find it in like your local Ross or TJ Maxx, Marshall, stuff like that. So people tend to overlook it. But this formula is bomb. And if you are subscribed to Juicy Jazz on YouTube, you'll know exactly how bomb they are because she raves about these shadows all the time. And this is called the Festival Palette. And I really feel like I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. We're gonna see what eyeshadow look I actually come up with. So um, we have a few, a couple more, ooh, a couple more affordable eyeshadow palettes. This right here is my BH Cosmetics Ultimate Matte 42 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I have not used this eyeshadow palette yet. That's why it's still in the box, but baby, I just, look at me. I'm making a mess now. But anyway, um, I just had to cop this one because it's it's 42 shades for one. Like I said, it's brand new. But the colors in here are amazing. We have all our warm tone neutral shades here, but we have like greens and, you know, burnt, you know, you know, just more fallish colors on this side. So when I saw this palette, I was just like, I got to have it. And then also I love when eyeshadow palettes have a black. And I love the fact that this eyeshadow has a black, a navy blue, a navy, I guess not, not a navy green, but like a forest green. It's just a, a great diverse colored palette. If you're interested in big eyeshadow palettes like this and you want to just have one palette in your collection, this is a good one to have because you have everything in here. The only thing is that it's all matte, but if you're more of a matte person, Go for it, get the eyeshadow palette, and you can always get yourself just one small little shimmer palette or use a um, highlighter palette as your shimmer. So this this eyeshadow palette is just really bomb and it's really affordable. You can find this at your local like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls for about 10 bucks. So it's a great deal. This is a steal, honestly. So last for the affordable palettes, this is on the... This is on the steeper side of affordable, if we're being honest. But this right here is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I got the, I guess the newer one because it has everything on the back and you know, it just doesn't get as dirty. I love this palette right here, y'all. Like, what? Can we talk about the colorway? Like, this quad right here, bomb. This right here, this four right here, that's bomb. I love this shade right here. It's like a dark green grayish color. It's so beautiful. It's I guess it yeah, it is a cool tone shade, but it is bomb. I also love that it has a black. I love this mustardy orange color right here. I just love everything about this eyeshadow palette. Like, uh, this is going to be hard because if I'm trying to tell y'all which palette I would choose to get one, I know I just said the BH Cosmetics one. But this right here is one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes. Whenever I don't know exactly what I want to do, I know I can reach into this palette and figure out some type of look. I really love this quad right here. This is probably like the main reason why I bought this eyeshadow palette. The shades are just so beautiful. They perform so well. This, Like I said, this is a Morphe palette. So we know how these shades work. They're amazing. I feel like almost everyone has seen this palette because it's so popular, so well known. Um, this is like the only, this is the only collab Morphe palette that I have, but I just feel like this one is just special, so I just had to have it. I don't really care for Jaclyn too much. Um, you know, she ain't doing anything wrong to me, <laughs> but I'm not like gonna go out and go crazy just because her name is written on something. But because of the colorway and everything, I just decided this was going to be a steal to purchase. 
Okay, so, so far we've gone through all of our lower end eyeshadow palettes. Now we're getting into all of my higher end eyeshadow palettes. I'm just gonna stack them up. Oop. I'm gonna stack them up and bring them a bit closer. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is my eyeshadow palette from The Balm. So this is Meet Matte Adore. I have not actually used this eyeshadow palette, but it is so, so, so cute. This are, these are the shades in it. If you want just a basic neutral eyeshadow palette with all mattes, this will be a good um, alternative because of all the shades. So you have your black, you have your blue, you have your greenish grayish color. You have a nice warm brownish color. You have a pinky, you know, it's just a great variation. It's nine different shades in here and it just looks amazing. So if you're looking for a eyeshadow palette with this colorway, here's an, a good option. It is on the pricier side though, so it's just up to you. But like I said, like the pan sizes in here are huge. So like you will not be going through this eyeshadow palette too, too, too fast. It's bomb, it's slim, it's sleek, and it's just cute. Like, and I love the way, like, I love that it's called Meet Matte Adore. Cause like when you open it, all the eyeshadow shades, their names start with matte. So we have Matt Russo, Matt Bernard, Matt Munoz, Matt Jones, Matt Williams, Matt Johansson, Matt Soto, Matt Borski, and Matt Lee. So I just feel like that is so cute. They have um, like two other versions of this eyeshadow palette. So be sure to check them out and whichever one suits you best, go for it. Next, this right here was my first ever high-end eyeshadow palette. I bought it this year. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. And I bought this one too because of Andrea Renee here on YouTube. This eyeshadow palette, need I say more? Like. You have everything you could think of. Like, if I wanted a smoky eye, I got it right here. Do I want something more on the brown brown side? I got it. Do I want some berry tones? I got it. Do I want some oranges, um, warmer tones? I got it. This is like the perfect. This is like the perfect um, collection of eyeshadows, like in one palette. Like, this is really born to run for a reason. Um, you can just take this palette anywhere with you and you know you're good to go. There's not a shade that you can be like, dang, I wish I needed that because there's always a shade in here that is going to work for that for you. So what I love about this is because is that it's called Born to Run. I love the packaging of it. Like it just, me, I'm into photography, so I appreciate artwork like this. Some people don't like this packaging, but I personally love it. It's inspiring. Um, it shows me like what's out there to do. So like, I initially bought this eyeshadow palette to go to New York with, even though I ended up not taking it with me. But I feel like this eyeshadow palette just is just so inspiring. I want to, now that I think about it, I want to take this eyeshadow palette everywhere I go to in 2020 and just at least take one picture with it, like, you know, in the sky or something. That's a portrait photo. I feel like that would be an amazing way to, like, show how amazing and diverse this eyeshadow palette really can be, so... This is my first ever high-end purchase. And you can always find this eyeshadow palette at a steal. So I bought mine for $25. This eyeshadow palette re retails for $49, so 50 bucks. So I got it for 25, which is a steal. And what I like about it is the big mirror that it has, as well as a sturdy packaging. It's not like the cardboard, and it's not a type of material that's going to allow water to seep through and mess up your shadow. So. This right here is a bomb eyeshadow palette for at a bomb price and it's Urban Decay so the quality is bomb too. This is also this is my only Urban Decay palette but I love it and a lot of people say that this is like one of their best formulas so I'm very happy to have it in my collection. Next we have my first ever ABH palette. I had to get the Modern Renaissance. I mean how could I not? How can you get eyeshadow palettes? And I get the OG that started them all. <laughs> Not started them all, but started, you know, just the hype in my opinion. So I have the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. I have used it a little bit. As you can see, I have some type of dents in there. Um, I just feel like I do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that do look like this. So I don't tend to dabble in it too, too much. But I do love the shades. Venetian Red, Love Letter, Real Gar, Cypress Umber, um, Burnt Orange, 
Primavera. I basically like the whole palette, you guys. I love the, the whole eyeshadow palette, but I just don't tend to dabble in it. So too, and I just don't tend to dabble into it too much. But overall, the shades in here are bomb. The velvet softness is, feels good, even though it does get a little dirty. But overall, I do enjoy this eyeshadow palette. Modern Renaissance. So I got that one. Of course, I had to pick her sister up. This right here is my favorite, favorite, favorite ABH eyeshadow palette. I love the Soft Glam. This eyeshadow palette basically was made for me. These are my go-to shades. We got our black, which I love to have in the eyeshadow palette. We have our browns, a little bit of pink here and there, oranges, you know, just dusty colors. This green soft lamb, and I know the soft lamb trend is going crazy right now. And I know if I ever wanted to, be, to go anywhere, I can go with this eyeshadow palette. This will be great for New Year. This will be great for birthdays. This will be great for a wedding. This eyeshadow palette is bomb. So if I ever had to like get rid of all my ABH palettes, I know for a fact that I will be keeping the ABH Soft Glam palette. It is bomb. And as everyone, well, as a lot of people know right now, you can get both of these eyeshadow palettes in their vault for 50 bucks, which is a steal because each of these eyeshadow palettes retails for $42, which makes this a $84 value pack but you can get it for 50 bucks so $25 each um I didn't get that deal that's why my <laughs> palettes are really really dirty but if I had the vault collection I would definitely have kept my eyeshadows within the vault that they provide as well so these are bomb and I have one more ABH palette does she look familiar to you guys oh my gosh I'm so excited I have not used her yet this is the ABH Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette. I bought this, um, ugh, can I open it? I bought this eyeshadow palette during Black Friday. Let's see if I can get her open. Come on, come on, come on, open up. Okay. So this is the Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette, brand new in all her glory. I got her for Black Friday. Oh my gosh, the packaging is just beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm just so happy for Jackie Ina. I love her. I subscribe to her channel as well as like other, her other social media outlets. But this eyeshadow palette, baby, look at her. Wow. Let me, let me take this off. Look at, look at those shades. Like this is different for me, but it's a good different. Like I like the fact that it has that Wiggly's red shade right here. That is great for the Christmas holiday. I love the purples in here. I just love that. Look at sponsored, bro. That green shade right here. And it's a duochrome ginger, huh? Like this eyeshadow palette was like basically made for me. Like it's not as made for me as Soft Glam is. But this eyeshadow palette speaks volumes to me. And it took me a minute. I was just like, do I really need it or do I not? I was debating. It kind of reminds me of the Carly Bible palette, but it's totally different. And when I swatched it in Sephora after that, I was just like, yeah, got to have her in my collection. And plus, she's limited edition. So once she's gone, she's gone. So I'd rather have her now and just, you know, be content with it than to buy than to not buy her and miss out on the eyeshadow palette as a whole. But this eyeshadow palette looks beautiful. I've used ABH shadows before and they're bomb. Um, personally, I don't really like powdery formulas and I know that ABH, pow ABH eyeshadow formula is on the powdery side, but the quality just speaks so much volumes that I don't even mind the powderiness of it. So I have three ABH palettes in my collection. I don't plan on expanding from these three um, anytime soon, but this is a great start, in my opinion, for my um, ABH collection. So you guys, we're down to three eyeshadow palettes. Like, it's been a long road, but we're finally getting here, you guys. So let's see what we have left. So the first one I want to talk about is the... Desi and Katie Frankation palette. This palette, like, I don't know. It just took me a long time to finally, like, hop on board because, like, the shades in here 
are pretty much your basic standard shades. It's just these like five shimmer shades in here that I was just like, okay, maybe I need them, maybe I don't. This eyeshadow, right? This eyeshadow palette performs, okay? I use this eyeshadow palette on Thanksgiving Day. It blended out like a dream. The shades in here, like the, um, I don't even know what the metallic shades in here, they perform very, very well as well. Um, I did have a little bit, like the slightest bit of fallout with them. So I just know to use like an eyeshadow um, primer prior to putting on some of these on. But personally, this shade right here, it's called Dirty Money. Baby, this eyeshadow right here, she is cute. She is pigmented. Like um, when I was applying these eyeshadows, I used my finger and it worked just fine. But this right here is a great eyeshadow palette. Um, it retails for, I think, like $55. But them too, like, they always have a sale on this eyeshadow palette where you can get it for, like, maybe $26, $27. Um, although it is 10 shadows, I believe that is very, very worth it because you get your neutral eye looks using the mattes. But you can also, like, spice it up using these shimmer shades. So... I would de definitely recommend getting this eyeshadow palette. So second to last, we have the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. This is my first ever eyeshadow palette from um, Colored Rain, and I'm so happy to have her. She is beautiful. Like I, For one, let's talk about the packaging. It's like this matte, sleek um, eyeshadow package. It looks amazing, it looks bomb. Queen of Hearts, Colored Rain, it's, they just did their thing. When you open it, you have all these beautiful warm tone shades. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve eyeshadows right in here. Y'all can't even see it. I'm so sorry. But you have 12 different eyeshadows in here. We have our lighter shades. What I like about this eyeshadow palette is like this can be your everyday eyeshadow palette. Like the shades in here are very, very wearable for like work, but also for like going out and stuff. It's a great day to night eyeshadow palette. I love the purples in here. I love that it has this bright orange. I love all the shimmers and all the mattes. Like this right here is a great eyeshadow palette. However, um, I do compare it a lot. I don't know. I don't hear people compare this a lot to the modern renaissance, but I don't know. It just really reminds me a lot of the modern renaissance. Let me open it up. So here are the two eyeshadow palettes. Like, Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, they're very similar in my opinion. So, I'm just like, if I'm ever to declutter, one of these would go. Because they're too similar. And I feel like I reach for um, the colored rain one more. Maybe that's why I don't tend to use my Modern Renaissance as much. But this eyeshadow palette, the quality. And I like the fact that, like, it doesn't have as much kick up as the um, ABH formula. So I really do like this eyeshadow palette. I appreciate it very, very much. It's like one of my newest additions to my um, shadow collection, but it has been performing very, very, very well. So I'm so happy. And then like, also just looking at it, it's 12 shades. So you can all like also like look at it as like quads. So this right here is one eyeshadow, one eye look. This right here is one eye look, and this right here is one eye look. That's how I like looking at my eyeshadow sometimes, and it helps me put looks together like with so much more ease. So, this is a great eyeshadow palette. So last, last but not least, we have the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Eyeshadow Palette. I really don't think that this eyeshadow palette got enough praise as it should have. Like, I know she first came out with her Latte palette, she had her Lemonade palette, she had her Rustic Glam palette, I believe it's called. But out of all her palettes, I personally like the Berries and Cream one the best. I feel like it fit my vibe the most. And when I tell you these pan sizes in this eyeshadow palette are amazing, I'm going to take the sleeve off. I've dabbled into this eyeshadow palette just a little bit, but the little I have dabbed into it, I love it. So I love the fact, once again, it has a black. I love that it has a navy blue. I love this brown shade right here called Chocolate Mousse. I love this warm pie shade. Now what's interesting about this warm pie shade is that it is indeed a matte, but it has like gold reflexes in it and you can see that showing up on your eye. 
Um, this eyeshadow palette is also again on the pricier side. Um, it retails for about $44, but you can get it on sale, especially now that it's like the Christmas holidays and stuff. But I feel like this eyeshadow palette screams fall. It, fit, it screams winter time. It's, it just screams holiday. And it has this big mirror on it, which I too appreciate. This will be great for travel. I love the sleek packaging of it. Although I, uh, although I do like um, velvet packaging and stuff, this packaging right here is standard and it'll be easy for me to store and I just won't have any issues worrying about, oh my gosh, is it gonna get dirty or anything like that. Same thing with the um, Desi and Katie palette. I love, love, love this packaging. Oops. I love, love, love this packaging. And what I was thinking about doing with this eyeshadow palette is wearing it as a clutch. Like, who's going to tell me otherwise? I can just, you know, put her underneath my, you know, my little arm and just be on my merry way. So, basically, these are all my eyeshadow palettes. Let me lay them back out for you real quick. It's not going to be the same. But, you know, just show y'all most of my collection. So here's the final look at my collection. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and saw a few eyeshadow palettes that y'all might be interested in purchasing. I personally don't plan on buying any more eyeshadow palettes for a good little while because I have a lot of good ones, but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, which is called Forever Chia. I'll be, it'll be greatly appreciated and be look on the lookout for my top five favorite eyeshadows of this year as well as maybe a declutter we'll see you know so thank y'all so much for watching this video and i'll catch y'all next time peace